Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing today? That's great. My name is Daria Sergeyevna, and I'll be your English teacher. For today's English lesson, you will read your English book. Let's start. Answer the questions. How many rooms are there in your house or flat? What are they? Do you have a room of your own? Stop the video. You have two minutes. Look through the photos. Which of these things do you think you can find in a girl's room? Which in a boy's room? Black light, lava lamp, chest, curia cabinet, dresser, 30 seconds to Mars poster. Stop the video, you have two minutes. The topic of our today's lesson is my room, lesson six. Look through the description of the room. Is it a boy's or a girl's room? Why do you think so? Stop the video, you have two minutes. Look through the following description. Is it a boy's or a girl's room? What made you think so? Stop the video, you have two minutes. Read the description carefully. What do the boys and the girls' rooms have in common? What makes them different? Stop the video to do the task. Let's check your answers. Look at the differences first. Boys' room is quite small but comfortable. There is a variety of posters that represent the interests. There are pictures of cars on the walls. And there are several cacti. Girls' room is spacious. There is a collection of dolls and other valuable things. There is a double bed with four pillows. There are lots of personal belongings which make the room look cluttered. Both boys' and girls' rooms have a computer. And their rooms are places where they feel safe and private. Very well done. Match the words with their definitions. Item, cluttered, treasure, heaven. Stop the video, you have three minutes. Let's check your answers. One, B, two, D, three, C, four, A. Good job.
Write the plural forms of the following nouns. Stop the video. You have five minutes. Let's check your answers. Pay attention to the differences in singular and plural forms. Read the rules about singular and plurals of nouns. Исчисляемые существительные в английском языке имеют два числа – единственное и множественное. Множественное число образуется с помощью окончания as – suggestion, suggestions. Существительное, которое оканчивается на o, ch, s, double s, sh or x, добавляется e as – box, Boxes. Иностранные слова и аббревиатуры, которые оканчиваются на O, образуют множественное число путем добавления окончания S. Photo, photos. У существительных, оканчивающихся на F или FE, во множественном числе F меняется на V и добавляется окончание ES. Leave, leaves. Life, lives. Если существительное оканчивается на y, согласно перед ней, то y меняется на i и добавляется окончание es. Country, countries. Также стоит обратить внимание на особые формы множественного числа, такие как food. Feet, mouse, mice, woman, women, person, people, человек, люди. Но people, народ, нация. Peoples, народы, нации. Child, children и другие. Существительные, заимствованные из греческого и латинского языков, сохраняют форму множественного числа, которую они имели в этих языках. Например, феномена, феномена. Исчисляемые и неисчисляемые существительные. Как и в русском языке, такие слова, как music, blood, Water, gold не употребляется во множественном числе. Есть существительные, которые имеют одну и ту же форму единственного и множественного числа. Например, deer, sheep, fruit и другие. Следующие существительные употребляются только во множественном числе. Clothes, police, cattle, trousers. Customs, jeans, shorts и другие. Следующие существительные потребляются только в единственном числе. Advice, furniture, hair, information, knowledge, money, trouble и другие. Также существуют слова, которые, несмотря на конечную s, употребляются в единственном числе. Physics, mathematics, optics, phonetics и им подобное. Больше информации вы сможете найти в грамматическом справочнике. Use the questions to describe your dream room. Do you share? Or own a room? Is your room spacious? Is your room tidy or cluttered? 
What is there on the walls of your room? What furniture do you have in your room? What do you sleep on? Do you have a computer or a TV in your bedroom? What makes your room special? Is your bedroom your heaven or just a place where you sleep? Write the answers down. Stop the video to do the task. Think over the questions. What surprised you today and why? What's the most important thing you learned today? What do you want to learn more about? Why? What do you think about today's lesson? Thank you for the lesson. Have a nice day. Bye.